Hello, fifth grade. Today I'm going to uh, show you how we are going to start our galaxy project. And so we're going to start with the background. And so today what you're going to need, you're going to need your watercolors and you're going to need a bigger brush from my cart because the one that gave uh, or that you got with your watercolors, that is way too tiny for this project because I'm going to be giving you a nice big square piece of paper so we can put lots of planets and demonstrate lots of different watercolor techniques within them. All right, so the main colors that you want to prep, you want to put a dot or a drop of water into your black, into your purple, and into your blue because those are um, really great galaxy colors. All right, so now that I've activated the colors, I got my brush wet too, you want this, you want your color, your watercolors, your brush to be very, very wet as you're making this background. Make sure your name is on the back before you get started, before you get started. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go into my black and there's really no like wrong way to do this except, well, there is one wrong way. I lied about that. So um, when you're going around with your black, or the deep black of space, you want to um, have like some parts go higher, some parts go lower, because space is um, an, oh, that's okay, don't worry about that. That is an, it, space is an element of nature. So in nature, oftentimes things look a little random. This is what I don't want you to do as you're going around your, your, um, painting. I don't want you to make like a nice border. This is not, this is not a nice clean, clean thing because galaxies, we have lots of different colors going in and out. So I'm just going to go kind of like that lot. You're going to be using lots of black. And if it starts, if it's looking gray, then just layer more black over it. This is thick paper, so it can handle a lot of paint and a lot of water. Leave that just kind of spreading out that little oopsie that I made. Is it really an oopsie? I don't know. Maybe not. All right. So make sure you cover that edge. And it's looking a little gray right now that's because it's starting the paper is starting to soak it up so either if you think that's because there's not enough watercolor on there just keep layering that over or um, it'll it'll dry it'll it'll look just fine all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rinse off my brush in my cup and then um, keeping it very wet again with the purple, then I'm going to go into my black. It's really shiny right now on the screen. That's because it's very wet. And so I'm going to overlap the black a little bit and it's pulling a little bit of black into the purple. That's good. That's what we want because we want that kind of to blend in together. Not like perfectly, but you do want to overlap that a little bit. Same thing if your purple is looking a little too light. Add some more. Add some more. I'm even going into my spaces where I think it's a little too gray. I'm just adding some purple onto that. That's just going to help our galaxy effect. Now we're going to go into the blue. I just rinsed off my brush. Again, you're going to overlap. 
can even mix in some purple if you want to, like a blue and purple combination, like an indigo, but overlap that blue into that purple. All right, so that's the base for our galaxy. You might be thinking, this is Valens. I'm not, sh I'm not so sure about this project. It's not looking like a galaxy. Well, when we add the stars, when this is dry, it is going to look fantastic. So this should go on the drying rack. And then uh, when I clean off my water, you definitely want to get clean water and wipe down your spot because look look at my spot right now. You want to wipe that down because then we're going to start um, your techniques for your planets. All right, now before we start our planets, um, you want to make sure definitely, as always, make sure your name is on the back, otherwise we're not going to know whose is whose. So I'm going to be giving you a um, piece of cardstock for our planets because we are working with watercolors. So I'm gonna flip that over. Um, I do now have a smaller brush for the different types of techniques. And so with your planets, I would like you to demonstrate at least four out of the five techniques that we learned. So we learned wash, we learned dry brush, we learned wet and wet, we learned um, sponge and we learned resist. So at least four out of the five for your planets. Um, so you're going to make at least four planets or details. It's up to you how you want to go about this because maybe you want to make like a spaceship and demonstrate the techniques. Maybe you want to make an astronaut. Maybe you want to make an alien in an alien spaceship. It is up to you. Let me just kind of focus this a little more. All right. So you guys are going to have to draw out your planets because we want we don't want them all to be the same size. We want them to be different sizes. Maybe some are off in the distance, um, some are closer, things like that. And if you have a roll of tape, I like to use that, or you can just free, free form it, free draw it. And let's see, do I want to use the outside? I'm going to make a big planet for this one. It's going to be like a Jupiter-sized planet. There we go, and I think I'm going to go over here. This one's going to be inner circle. Let's see. Got two things down here. And then if you wanted to do like a ring, this is how you would do a ring. So I'm just going to start from the side of the circle. I'm going to curve around, go in front, curve around to the other side. And then to make the ring thicker, I just repeat that process. Um, it's a little wonky on that side, but that's okay. And then I'm going to erase. Let's see. Maybe I want, ooh, maybe I want like a shooting star. It's up to you how you do that. Or maybe you would want a comet. Oh, I think I want to do a comet. I'm going to have like, it be like spiky. my comet kind of like its tail it's kind of curling kind of like that in space I know that's not what it would really look like in space but this is our artwork we can do what we want all right maybe I want another kind of little planet then let's see maybe I want like a shooting star point, draw the lines that don't run in, into each other to that point. There's, I have a little shooting star in there. Okay, so I got some objects that I want to put on my galaxy background. 
So if you have a big area, that's good for wet and wet. Wet and wet loves big areas. So I'm going to be doing my wet and wet. Actually, I should probably label what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do wet and wet for this one. All right, so that's going to go on the drying rack. If your wet and wet is still really, really wet, maybe you could take uh, a paper towel and kind of dab it, dab it up. If you have to immediately put it on the drying rack, you just don't want it to go into your other planets when you put it on the drying rack. All right, my galaxy is now dry. It's ready for the spatter technique. We are going to uh, be doing a spatter for the stars in the background of the galaxy. So today, in your water cup, I'm going to be giving you a little bit of diluted white paint, diluted with a little bit of water just so it spreads really nice. And it's up to you how... Um, you want your stars to be, if you want them to be large, you want them to be small. So you're going to take your brush plus one of my other brushes because you're going to need two because you're going to need one to tap and one to release the paint. All right, so I'm just going to take this and just simply tap it. All right, so I just got done with my spatter technique. Um, so you don't need to um, have this be dry to glue your planets on. You're going to glue your planets on with a glue stick, not a glue bottle, because glue bottle can wreck your watercolor paints. So make sure you, like, cut it out and then quickly glue, put glue on the back and smack it somewhere where you want it to be. All right, thanks for watching.